Hello, everybody. Let's go ahead and do a love reading. Spirit, please show me. What do we got? We got one card out. Five of Swords. Someone here walking away. Done with conflict. Not fighting no more. Had enough. Said enough. You know, said all there was to say. And now it's just a matter of putting down your swords and walking away. There is no victor in this situation. Nobody feels like, oh, I won. You know, I won that conversation. I won that round. It's just a matter of like, I'm just done. You do you, boo. I'm on my way out. Buh bye Spirit, please show me love. Spirit, please show me love. Challenge is the high priestess in the reverse. So maybe some secrets that came out. And for some of you, this is about, you know, maybe the challenge was you using your intuition. You knew something was up. There could have been definitely a third party situation. And the high priestess can also mean third party. And we do have three people in that card. So the letters B or J could also be of importance. It could be in their, uh, it doesn't have, it can be in their name somewhere. We have the eight of wands here. So yeah, after some type of communication or somebody could have traveled in to come and see you. Hold on. Let's keep going. Spirit, please show me their love life, love and romance spirit. Please show me. Ooh, we got the tower, but it showed up on the reverse. Someone here was trying to avoid a tower moment. Um, holding their composure is what I just heard. Yep. Uh, King of wands in the reverse. Someone here who did not take any sort of action could have been, been like very ego driven, especially with the King of, oh yeah, very ego driven. The sun is all about the ego. It was all about them and not anyone else. We have the lovers here now. Okay. Showing up, up in this position. Here we go. What do we got here? Three of pentacles. I did say a third party situation and there could have been an illumination on that. We do have the nine of cups. Okay. And what do we have here as the outgoing card spirit? What do we have? We have the six of pentacles in the reverse with the two of swords. So there was some type of a choice or a decision and there is some type and it was over some type of heartache. Somebody here was definitely protecting themselves. Somebody here was standing up for themselves. Uh, continuing to persevere, but continued moving forward. Okay. So I feel with the two of swords here, two of swords is all about, you know, head and heart decision. For some of you, you're not using your heart. You're more using your head. You're trying to use your, your intuition. And maybe for some of you, your intuition is blocked. And that could be absolutely what we're talking about with the high priestess in the challenge position. I feel like for some of you, it's like, you know, they're, this person threw you off. Okay. This person could definitely, you could have been blindfolded around this person because they threw you off. Uh, they weren't here for reciprocity. They weren't here for give and take. And I feel like someone here, it's almost like this person wants to come back in. Someone wants to come back in, but it's for the wrong reasons. And maybe even for some of you, it's because they're pissed off. They're pissed off because you're no longer playing the game um, you know, because the, the king of wands in the reverse is somebody who is like, you know, that's not, you know, you're not going to break up with me. I'm breaking up with you, you know, like, or they're the kind of person who wants to get you back. Like, so they get back together with you just so that they can break up with you. And it's like, you know, they, they tell you all the things that you want to hear. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, they're only doing it a, because it's, it's sexually gratifying for them. He does come in with a staff in his hand and this is the, uh, the, um, phallic symbol for the, you know, what can't say it here on YouTube. So, you know, it, it, it's very much. And like I said, there could have been like this king of wands. Maybe, like I said, with the threes here, we have the three of swords, we have the three people here in the five of swords, and we have the three of pentacles. And not only that, we also have the lover's card here, which has three people. So um, there definitely could have been a third party situation that this king of wands was giving to, could have well, very well been sleeping with other people, just going to call it, because that's what I do see here. You could have very well found out. Um, for some of you, you did find out that they were entertaining other people. Uh, that information came in. You could have gotten a text message, an email, a phone call about what this person was doing. And you were like, you know what? Or they could have actually just told you because this person is so egoic that they it's almost like they don't even see what's wrong with what they're doing. They're just so used to being able to do it 
that they're like, what, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, that's what I did. You kind of almost have to applaud them for that, <laughs> you know, because they're, at least they're honest. I don't feel like this person, um, you know, it was almost like you needed to ask the right questions in order to get it out of this person. You needed to ask the right questions. Okay. Like you needed to ask them, you know, not just, are you single or, you know, whatever it could have been like, um, are you sleeping with anyone? It, does anybody think that they're in a relationship with you right now? Like, I think with humanity nowadays, because they can be like, well, you didn't ask. And it's like, no, you just didn't ask the right way. And they were able to like lie with the truth. You know, basically they're not really lying. They're telling you the truth because you didn't ask the right question. So, you know, with the, with that said, I feel like that's just one individual, but what I feel like is coming in and it's like, you may end up having a choice between two people is because after this, you know, this person could very well want to come in, but then we see the sun here with the lovers and the three of pentacles with the nine of cups. Now, what I see here is you may end up having a couple of people um, competing for your energy. And I don't think it's going to be that hard to figure out which one you want to entertain because we do have the sun here with the lovers and the three of pentacles. So I do feel like there's absolutely going to be a choice that is going to be made. It's going to be a head and a heart decision. And I feel like you have that here. And I feel you're almost going to look at this very logically, but also like it's almost like there's one person, you know, you're just going to have to be logical about this one and also use your heart. Your intuition is going to tell you. And we do have um, Mercury moving direct uh, on the 31st of January, 1st of, or I mean, 31st of December, 1st of January. And we also have Jupiter waking up at that time too. So this is a very auspicious time where someone from the past can try and come back in. They want to rekindle something. But then as like after the planets go direct, all of a sudden this new person who comes in, because I do feel like this is a new person with the sun here. It's like we have the sun here twice with the sun and the lover's card. You can see the sun right up here. So this is like masculine energy, like divine masculine energy, the sun and the moon, right? Uh, whoever this is, this person is very immature. Um, and this person is just thinking about themselves. They're not really thinking about what's, you know, good for everyone. They're thinking about what's good for them. So, um, I do feel like you will be tempted by this other individual, but it's almost like that forbidden fruit. Don't bite the apple. Don't bite the apple. Um, I do want to say too, like, you may want to go in and talk to somebody. I feel like there could also be like some collaborations here, um, you know, and talking to, you know, maybe going and talking to a, you know, a, a wise one. I just want to say that a wise one to help you make this decision, not a friend, not, you know, somebody who is emotionally involved. Um, but somebody who is outside of yourself that might have information that you need, how, see how they're standing up on this pedestal and they're looking up to this individual. It's somebody that you can look up to. That's going to help you make this decision. So it could be a therapist. It could be a counselor. It could be a psychic. It could be a life coach. It could be, you know, it could be grandma, you know, no, you know, you have a really awesome relationship with grandma. So there is going to be some type of conversation. Um, I see with the, the, the eight of wands and the lovers here. Yeah. I feel like there's going to be a lot of text messages back and forth between you and these people. I do feel like you could very well get a text message. If it's not a text message or an email or a phone call, this person could literally come in to come and see you, you know, to see if you're possibly still in love with them. But I think that it's going to be too little too late because I do feel like this other individual is also, uh, coming in. <laughs> I do get a too little too late. And I don't really feel like this person has learned anything. I almost feel like they're, they still come with the same 
drama that they came with before that hasn't ended. It's almost like they haven't learned anything. Nine of Cups and the Hopes and Fears. I think that the fear is, is not knowing what's behind door number two. That's what I get here with the curtain behind him. It's almost like don't act too smug, you know, because you don't know. And I think that, you know, pay attention to, um, I feel like they, they will both tell on themselves very, and if you're paying attention with the high priestess here, you know, and using your intuition, because that is the challenge is to use your intuition. The challenge is to find out what the fuck this other person wants you back for. <laughs> Cause I think that there's a little bit of a hidden agenda in there, you know? And like I said, it can be somebody who just wants to come back in so they can be the one to break up with you because you pissed them off because you broke up with them. So they want to drive a wedge between you and this other individual. They want to create a tower moment, hoping they can stop you from getting into this other relationship so that you don't go out and live a long, happy life. Well, I don't think that they succeed with the sun here and the lovers. I don't see that as a success. I do see you turning down anything that is not going to, there is no reciprocity or give and take. You're, you're turning down the bread crumbing. It's almost like there's such an emphasis on this bread crumbing. Like, you know, they don't have enough because I feel like with the King of Wands, the King of Wands is, is somebody who is, and he's looking over at the six of pentacles. Like, I don't have anything to share. I just don't want you to be with anyone else. Nine of swords, five of wands, two of wands. Like, I don't want to see you like, or, you know, it's part of their thought process and it's keeping them up all night that there's going to be competition for your time. And they want to know, like, do they still have a chance? So they're going to try and come back in. But I think when they come back in, they're going to have competition. There's going to be other people who are also... Uh, interested in, in um, getting to know you, especially with the lovers here and the three of pentacles. Like this is all about, you know, someone here who wants to build with you. And that's what this, the sun here, the sun person, because I do see the sun as the person. Um, and we have the moon here too, as the overall energy. We've got that new moon. So it could be around the time of the new moon. We have that new moon coming up in a couple of weeks in Capricorn. Okay, so we have the sun in Capricorn right now. And this is somebody who is very mature. They've had their fair share. They've grown, you know, and it's like their, their communication style is amazing. So show me this king of wands in the reverse. Yeah, this person definitely... They, they were very immature. The king of wands in the reverse was somebody who was very immature and somebody who just kept you strung along. They couldn't make a decision. They were always in limbo about what they wanted to do in this relationship. And they offered you something that was just, was really small. And it was like very abrupt, like, you know, oh, you know, hey, you want to go to dinner or hey, it was just enough to kind of keep you strung along, keep you hanging, you know, in the balance. But they, it was just out of ego to keep you there. This person actually didn't want to, you didn't really want to do anything. So the situation ended up dying out. Okay. The end. Yeah. Two of uh, pentacles. This person very well could have been juggling, juggling multiple options, keeping their options open. Um, that is so totally something a king of wands would do. Okay. And then what do we have here for the sun? Let me show me who the sun is. The sun and the lover's card. What do we got here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The four of wands and the ten of pentacles. I told you the sun is like, because you held out, because you said no, you're going to end up getting this opportunity of a lifetime. And it was because of your patience and because it was being alchemized behind the scenes. And all you had to do was see things for what they were and be willing to walk away, even if it created some type of confusion for you with that five of swords. You know, it could have created conflict even. So, wow, wow. You know, this is 
like the ultimate, you know, happily ever after with the 10 of pentacles and the four of wands. This is like, you know, things that are built up long term. This is you guys purchasing a home and property. If this person doesn't have home and property already, um, you know, with the lovers card, it's like I said, it's not going to be hard to make this choice because you've done a lot of introspection because you've done a lot of learning and probably because for a lot of you, whoever I'm tapped into, you took time out to be single. You took time out to learn the les lessons from past relationships and, and the past lessons that you needed to, you know, go through and experience. What do we have for the lover's card here, spirit? What is this choice? Show me the choice. Yeah. See, you're putting down three of swords, anything that, you know, just, it's like you're putting down the heartache, you're putting down the sadness, you're dropping and cutting out anything that just makes you, that doesn't make you feel very good. It's like, you know, that all you have to do is turn around and you have those two cups, you know, stop crying over these three spilt cups, three of swords right here. Stop crying over the three of, you know, swords. This person is not someone who is here that is going to cheat on you. They know that three is a crowd. Um, they see the blessing. Oh, yeah. They see the blessing in this relationship. This person is someone who is going to want long-term with you. Long-term marriage and commitment. This is somebody who is going to want to um, invest in you even. This person is a business owner. Uh, like I said, I feel like this person could have property. I get that here with the four of wands, 10 of pentacles, the sun and the king of pentacles. So they could be an, an investor even in properties, um, con you know, con construction. Uh, but with the lover's card here, it's like jackpot. You know, you really met your match. Um, and this person, like I said, is going to want to give to you and there's going to be, you know, and so the two of swords, what is the, the, what is the decision death? There's things that you have to put down that, you know, are still lingering around you. Even if it's just an idea of believing that someone could come back. Um, you know, it's like the, the choice is to let something die so that something new can begin. Um, you know, seven of wands is like, you know, you standing up for yourself and protecting yourself and, and, you know, uh, standing against adversity, you know, and, and blocking off anything that is not of, you know, the highest, uh, vibration for you. And yeah, I said highest vibration and we have the star here. So this is about hopes, wishes, dreams coming true. And again, you know, after this, after this, the death card and you being in a place of feeling like, you know, you have to protect yourself. It's like, you know, it, it didn't all go unnoticed. And now it's like everything starts to break through the stars start to align and whatever it is that you've been manifesting starts to come true. Okay. And that means that you held out for this type of relationship and you were willing to sacrifice and you kept the hope alive. And it was almost like when you were ready to give up, when you were like at this crossroads and you were saying like, you know, it's a double edged sword. You know, if I get into a relationship, I take the opportunity of getting hurt. But if I don't get into a relationship, I take an opportunity of, you know, um, feeling like I, I could have done more and I could have lived my life differently. And so I feel like you decided to fight for what it is that you believed in and it was always love. It was always going to be love that you were going to fight for. And at the end of the day, because of that, you end up, you know, and, and you weren't willing to sacrifice. You weren't willing to accept anything that was not of the highest of vibration with that, uh, with that star card there. Yeah. Seven of pentacles. It was like, man, do I keep going? You know, is the juice worth the squeeze? Do I keep going? Do I keep moving forward? Or just do I take what I have and cut my losses and just start investing in myself? And I think for a lot of you, um, that's why you have this victory when it comes to this relationship coming through. It's like, because you have overcome a he like, like I want to, you know, these battles were ridiculous of what you had to experience to get to this space. So what do we got here? You're getting that commitment. You're finally getting the commitment. You're finally getting it, what it is. You've learned the lessons. You've learned all there is to learn about this situation. And because of that, 
it's like there's the key right there and it's like you are about ready to unlock this new chapter and it's going to be very spiritual it's going to be something that is so it's such a higher level of commitment it's a higher level it's not something that is you know where you've been dealing with this ding dong over here it's something where you're actually dealing with this one over here you know the the hierophant and the sun is like uh, you know, holier than thou, like God in your reading on high, like, uh, vibrating nothing but like positive energy. Uh, this is freaking amazing, you guys. Um, and it's been, it didn't come without hurt and pain. I'll give you that. I'm going to leave that here, you guys. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in the personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram under the Footsteps to Peace, and I will chat with you again soon. Take care.